So in this example, we're going to be focusing on trying to find the normal forces on this beam. Here we have two forces in different places, and you notice that they're both axial. So again, we know that the momentum, the momentum of the entire thing is going to be zero because we have nothing that is going to be normal or not axial to the beam. So we're going to only be focusing on normal force. Typically, when you want to work with these types of things, when there's two forces, we're going to try drawing two bubbles, one af before both of the forces and one after. So let's draw. Um, I drew one bubble already. Let's focus on this one. So let's focus on this beam. Let me redraw it real quick on the side so it's easier to see. This is a force here and a force here. And then we're also going to end up drawing another beam, which I will draw in green, after that force, first force. So let's redraw that beam right here with just this end force because it comes after that first force. Let's draw the normal forces. I'm going to call this one N1 with the curly N, just a label as an internal force. This is N2. So let's focus on this first beam first. We are again going to do um, equilibrium equations. Um, we're going to make right positive. So we know that forces in the x direction are going to sum to zero. We know that it's going to be in the x direction. We have the first force positive. We also have the second force. And we have that the normal force um, facing backwards is going to be negative, And it's n1. So when we solve for this, we get that n1 equals 2f. And the example on the right hand side, we're going to get do the same thing, except this time we only have one force. So we have, again, um, the force is in the positive direction, the normal force is in the negative direction, we get oh, n2, we get the force is equal to n2. So if I were to draw a diagram of what the normal force will look like it will at first it will have so this is going to be 2f bf and we're going to have l and 2l so at first it's going to have the normal force is going to be 2f and at l it's going to pass by the first force so it's going to end up dropping to um 1f and that's what the normal force curve kind of looks like.